What is going on everybody? We are finally here. You guys have been asking for this video for a month now and I finally got time to sit down and do this because guys, when I tell you it's not easy, it's not easy. I have tons and tons of buckets and thousands of plushies that I have to organize and, and put together and, and all that crap. I mean, for example, look at this. I just had to organize these so they're ready for the video. It, it's, it's a mess. Like there's crap over there. There's crap behind me. There's a bunch of bunch of plushy stuff so yeah this is the 2023 plush collection not FNAF plush just plush collection okay now last year I had a lot of plushies this year I've gotten a lot more in just a year I think this is the one of the years that I've gotten the most plushies I, I think the only other year that I got more plushies was 2018 but I got a ton of new stuff this year guys that I cannot wait to show you we have everything spanning from FNAF plush custom FNAF plush monster hunter bendy uh, or sorry not bendy uh, Neo actually has all of my bendy plushies if you guys want to go see Neo's plush collection Check the link in the description. His plush collection is freaking awesome and has characters like Neo, Esther, things from my series, things from his series. And so he's got a lot of really, really cool customs you guys should go check out. Highly recommend checking out his plush collection video. I'll leave the link for that in the description. And like I said, we had other things like Cuphead, Piggy, uh, and, and just all sorts of fun stuff. Nintendo, anything you can imagine, fan games, uh, I have it all. So we are going to show all of that in this video today. Now, without further ado, I'm going to start with Five Nights at Freddy's. If you look at the little fast forward wheel on, on YouTube, you can watch the whole video as you please, or uh, there will be sections and it'll be uh, labeled on where is what. So if you would like to see one specific part of the collection, you can go there or you can watch the entire video and help me out. <laughs> that would be great. Please watch the whole video. At, at the end of today's plush collection video, I will be reviewing my first ever plush, my first ever stuffed animal that I got when I was a kid. Uh, and so that'll be a fun little surprise. So stay to the end of the video if you wanna see the entire collection all together uh, in a zoomed out form and that uh, plush. So yeah, without further ado, let's do this. All right, starting off here, like usual, we are going in chronological order, which means from the date that things were released and with FNAF starting. Okay, so we are starting with Wave Run 1, which consists of Freddy Fazbear, Chica the Chicken, Foxy the Fox, and Bonnie the Bunny. Now, along with our four main characters, we also have Toy Foxy. This is, Fo this is Toy Fox, or this is Mangle before she was mangled, okay? All right, let's <laughs> let's just get that down. Uh, let's get that straight. We're gonna move all these guys over real quick, and now we have our exclusives. Now Funko does this; they make exclusives to different stores like Hot Topic, Walmart, Target, etc. So we have our Hot Topic exclusive, the rarest and most expensive FNAF plushie to ever be released, which is Shadow Freddy. We're gonna put him right here. We have our GameStop exclusive. Toy Freddy, which was recently actually re-released at GameStop with a little bit of a different hat, uh, but it's it's pretty much the same plush. All right, and then we have our final uh, character from Wave 1, which is Golden Freddy, is our Walmart exclusive. These two were definitely the hardest to find, and they are the rarest and most expensive plushies to date. So if you have one, then congratulations. If you don't, then, well, good luck. All right, now moving on to Wave 3, we start with Nightmare Freddy. Oh, yeah. These were one of the first Funko plushies I ever got, along with Nightmare Foxy. And then we have Springtrap questionable plushie. Still cool nonetheless. Toy Chica. And then we have The Poopit. And then Cupcake. Now, after that, we have our exclusives. This wave has the most exclusives out of any wave to date. And we are going to be starting with our Hot Topic exclusive, Toy Bonnie. Then our Target exclusive, Phantom Foxy. Our Walmart exclusive, Mangle our GameStop exclusive, Nightmare Cupcake, and last but certainly not least, later down the line, I think about a month after the wave released around Christmas time, we got our Toys R Us exclusive and 
yeah, Toys R Us exclusive Nightmare Bonnie. Uh, he, after that, was available at places like Walgreens and stuff like that, like a year later or so. I remember I found one at uh, Walgreens and it was really weird. Uh, but yeah, that that's because Toys R Us went out of business. So complicated situation. But yeah, that is Wave Two. All right, now on to Wave Three, one of my more personal favorite waves, starting which is debatable <laughs> and controversial because a lot of people don't like this wave. But I personally love this wave. Starting with Circus Baby, Ballora, Funtime Foxy, Funtime Freddy, Ennard. Uh, there's also a black guy variant where its eye is all black. It's funny. Uh, and then we have our Hot Topic exclusive, Exotic Butters. We have our Walmart exclusive, Bonnet or Bonnet. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm used to uh, saying the Pokemon's name. Uh, this one also has a hole in its arm. I gotta sew that back together. Uh, and then later down the line it wasn't officially a target exclusive but it was only available at targets and it was very 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 hard to find uh and then they randomly became uh, pretty common a couple years later but lulbit i love this plush probably one of the best FNAF plushies still to date. If you have one, congratulations. If you don't have one, highly recommend getting one. I don't think they're too expensive online, but they're pretty cool. Love all bits. And that is wave three. All right, and now on one of the most controversial waves, the wave four black light wave. Starting with Pink Freddy. It's Pink Freddy. And then we have Blue Freddy. Stand up, Pink Freddy, okay? And everyone already doesn't like you. Don't make them not like you even more. Stand up, stand up. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. Then we have Purple Foxy. We have Green Foxy, booger. We have Blue Foxy, the creator of Zar. Fun fact, my dog chewed off the ear of uh, my blue, my original Blue Foxy, and I was really, really, really upset about it. And then I just turned it into a custom and made Zar. And that is how Zar <laughs> became Zar. So thank you, dog, that chewed off the ear of my Blue Foxy, because you have created the best character ever. <laughs> All right, that was wave four. Now on to wave five. Okay, now on to our, I think the second biggest wave, maybe the first biggest, I don't know. I, I don't really feel like counting. You guys can count if you'd like. But this is wave five, the FNAF six wave, uh, the Pizzeria Simulator wave. Starting with Rockstar Freddy, I still have his, <laughs> his dumb little cape on, uh, Helpy, or sorry, Lefty, my bad. Um, Orville the Elephant, then Helpy, then Rockstar Foxy, then oh, Big Batch, and then El Chip, boom. Then for our two Walmart exclusives, we have Happy Frog and Mr. Hippo. And then this is the first, kind of like the first time this has ever really happened, but I think like a month and a half, few months later, uh, we got Candy Cadet and then our Hot Topic, this, this is a Hot Topic exclusive, and then an online Hot Topic exclusive, Balloon Boy. Now this is a trend we're gonna see a lot more in these future waves, so bear with me. And that was wave five, ladies and gentlemen. Now for the Twisted Ones wave, the first wave uh, from the books. So we're gonna start with Twisted Freddy. I love this wave, by the way, guys. A lot of people hate on it. I think this is a really, really fun, awesome wave, and I'm glad we got it. Twisted Bonnie, my personal favorite from this wave. Twisted Wolf, super cool, love Twisted Wolf. Uh, Twisted Foxy, super awesome. Twisted Chica, and then we have Theodore, and then our Hot Topic exclusive, Stanley. And then, again, a weird little, like, few months later, we got a random Spring Bonnie, and he is looking absolutely fantastic. One of the best plushies, hands down. Super awesome plush. I'm so glad we got him. Now on to wave six. All right, wave six, security breach. Here we go. We're gonna start with Glamrock Freddy, and then Glamrock Chica, and then Montgomery Gator, Roxanne Wolf, and Vanny or Vanessa and then a little bit later these I think came out like a month apart We got Freddy Frost Bear and then we got Security Puppet and then we got Phantom Balloon Boy. And this is our first Five Nights at Freddy's AR character And I wish it was the only one that we got but I was I was wrong I, I thought it was gonna be the only one and and sadly we, we have to deal with with more <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that was that was a security breach wave six. Wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant wave seven. I meant wave seven. Now for our first holiday wave, which is the Easter wave, which consists of Easter colorway Freddy, 
Easter colorway Freddy again. <laughs> Easter colorway Foxy. Another Easter colorway Foxy. Another Easter colorway, or spring colorway. I don't know why I'm saying Easter, it's spring colorway. And then our spring colorway Cupcake. And then, last but certainly not least, we have this that kind of came out a little bit separately, but it's Chocolate Bonnie, one of the best plushies that's ever been released. Uh, and yeah, Chocolate Bonnie, uh, I actually, I wish it would have stopped here because I do like Chocolate Bonnie and Freddy Frostbear. I think they're both really cool. And Shamrock Freddy, but that, 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 that's it. No more, no more FNAF AR plushies, okay, Funko? All right, wave nine. Let me start off by saying I have a bajillion plushies and it is extremely hard to keep track of every single last one of them. So sometimes from time to time, uh, they tend to get lost. Hopefully I find it before I do my big move, but this is the Curse of Dreadbear wave, which is wave eight or nine, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, wave nine. All right, so, I am missing uh, the the the, the Jacko Foxy thing that whatever it's called. I did. I don't know why I never remember the name for it. I, I don't know. All right, now uh, Dreadbear, Jacko Bonnie, which is such a freaking cool blush. Look at this freaking blush, guys. It's so cool. Okay, Dreadbear and that uh, uh, Jacko Chica. Dreadbear, stay up. Oh my gosh, these Freddies, man. And then uh, we have our Captain Foxy. And, and, and yeah, so we're, we're missing the Jacko Foxy thing. <laughs> but yeah, that, 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 that was wave nine. All right, now time for wave 10, one of our biggest waves. Well, more like wave 11. Uh, there was a wave that came out somewhere in, in here in this time span. It was the uh, black light uh, security breach plushies, but I, I said I was gonna get them last year, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I don't wanna get them. They're kind of trash and I don't wanna spend all that money. just for those stupid freaking recolors that I don't even need. So I, I'm never gonna get those guys and they're not gonna be put in a video. I'm not even gonna count them as a wave because I'm tired of these stupid black light plushies. They're stupid. I don't want freaking recolors, okay? Funko, stop. We don't need this, okay? They're super fluffy and cool, whatever. I don't care. We don't need this. Okay, and this is a FNAF AR wave. I hate this wave, okay? It's kind of trash. It's it's all right, but it's, it's, it's I don't like this wave, okay? Uh, VR Freddy and then uh, pink VR Freddy. They, yeah, they, they just went ahead and made all the recolors in this wave. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then we have uh, the uh, Chica, the high score Chica, and then uh, the regular high score Chica. This one's cooler. Um, and then we have a uh, stupid fat radioactive Foxy, and then the pink radioactive Foxy, the even uglier version somehow. Uh, and then, um, let me just say this. Uh, I used him in Mal's uh, army but I don't know where he went. I only have the recolor of it, but the friggin' uh, Bonnie thing, the red Bonnie, I don't have him. I don't know where he went. It's lost, hopefully I'll find it. That is the only two plushies I'm missing, that one and the one from the Dreadbear Wave. And then later down the line, <laughs> the, actually they released at the same time. Um, I am, yeah, they released at the exact same time. Uh, we have uh, the Chocolate Freddy. I'm pretty sure they released at the same time. This is a Walmart exclusive. Uh, Liberty Chica, Walmart exclusive hate this plush. Uh, <laughs> I have not made a review on it because I don't want to. This is this is just stupid. Like, what is this? Like, it's, I guess it's cool, but like, who, who would spend their money on this? Okay, I guess, well, that answered your question. I did. I, I, I spent my money on it. I, this, this, I spent my money on this. Okay, and then uh, Shamrock Freddy, which is a really cool plush, and then uh, probably one of the coolest plushes that's come out in a while, probably since Freddy Frostbear, uh, well, or Jacko Bonnie, uh, is uh, this, this VR Freddy, this cool electric one. I really like using him. He's a uh, Mal's trusty uh, ship commander, Mal's Warhammer commander. Um, and then, yeah, that is all the plushies I have uh, right now. The balloon plush wave just got released, uh, but yeah. So I don't have those yet, obviously. I don't even know if they're out. I don't know where to get them. I think it's on like Funko's website or something like that. To be honest, I don't really like them, um, but uh, <laughs> I will get them because they are actually uh, not recolors and just unique characters, so I will get them. Uh, but yeah, that is all of the Five Nights at Freddy's plushies uh, I have so far. And to be honest, they don't, there's not There's not really a lot of them. I, I'm just realizing that. There's really not a lot of these guys compared to how many plushies you guys are gonna see later in this video. So yeah, that is all of the official Funko plushies, done, okay, done, all good, cool, we're- Okay, I totally forgot, <laughs> and they are a very forgettable wave, uh, most of the characters in this are, uh, the, the, the tie-dye wave, okay, I, I don't have the tie-dye spring trap, let me just put that before, I don't have that guy yet, and I don't really care, um, I know there's also the, uh, frostbite balloon boy, don't have that guy yet, I do want that guy, he's actually pretty cool, but tie-dye Freddy, it's these freaking Freddies, man, okay, uh, and then tie-dye Bonnie, 
and then um, tie-dye Foxy, and then Freddy, stop! Tie-dye Toy Foxy, tie-dye Chica, and then we have some of the coolest FNAF plushies to ever be released. I, I, I don't know why I called Candy Pop Goes and, and Blake tie-dyes, I, I don't know. Just ignore that, okay? Tie-dye Candy, tie-dye Pop Goes, and tie-dye Blake. Right there, yep, Blake, and then Pop goes, go right, go right here. Okay, freaking awesome. Love these plushies, they're great. We're good, we're good, done, 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 yes, okay, awesome. Now we are going to move on to the jumbo plushies, and then after that we're gonna do my original series, and then we are gonna do the customs. Stay tuned for the customs. I know you guys always wanna see the freaking customs, so stay tuned for that, there are new ones. All right, starting with the jum Jumbo plushies, we have a uh, Jumbo Nightmare Bonnie, super cool. We have a uh, Jumbo Palico from Monster Hunter. If you guys have never picked up a Monster Hunter game, highly recommend it. It's one of the best game series of all time. Uh, yeah, I, Sly Pie sent you, okay? It's Monster Hunter, one of the best games of all time. Well, there's lots of Monster Hunter games, but just, just pick up Monster Hunter Rise or something. I don't know, Monster Hunter World, pick, play one of them. Regardless, we have Jumbo Vanny, super ugly. Okay. Jumbo tie-dye Foxy, Jumbo tie-dye Freddy. Well, they're not kind of, they're, they're kind of Jumbos, but they're just molecule compared to this guy. And then we have Malhair. Yes, Malhair is very cool. He's got twisted freaking whiskers. I don't know what's going on with that. And then uh, uh, this little Palico, little dark Palico. Pretty cool, okay, all good. Jumbo plushies, okay, good, okay. Those are the Jumbo plushies. Now we are going to move on to my original characters and like season uh, one, two, and three characters. By the way, if you don't know, I don't know why people keep asking this. Well, I do know why. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. Last Days is FNAF Plush season one, okay? Last Days is season one. No more asking that question. Last Days is season one, and then season two, and then season three, okay? Cool, done, moving on. All right, starting off, we have Plushatron, and he's falling apart, so I'm just gonna put him right there. And then we have Zarinator. Yes, Colossal Zarinator, to be specific. So I'm going to put him down right here. I need to fix you up, boy. You 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 are in desperate need of a of a fix up. Then we have Amalgamation. She's looking awesome. I'm just gonna put her right here. Boom, boom. Okay, looking all good. Have Wes. Put Wes right next to Mal. Wow, we haven't seen them together, really. <laughs> then we have Electro and Classic Czar. And then Ultra Czar. Boom. And then we have New Czar, or Good Czar, whatever you want to call him. And then uh, Slippy. He's got the earpiece on still. And then Monochrome Freddy. And these are all of my original characters together. Looking pretty nice, looking pretty schnazzy. And now, uh, before we move on to the custom plushies, I did want to do the hex plushies, and then we'll do all the customs. Okay, now we have Hex Wave 1, which consists of Freddy Fazbear, uh, Bonnie the Bunny, Chica, rah, and Foxy. Now Hex Wave 2, which is Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. And now Hex Wave 3, which is our brand new one, Toy Freddy. Toy Bonnie without a head. <laughs> Boom. Ah, there we go. Toy Bonnie with his head. And then Toy Chica. Whoa, why, why does her mouth look like that? That is horrifying. Ah, there we go. Okay, Toy Chica and then Balloon Boy. Boom, and that is all of our Hex plushies. Perfect, cool, awesome. Now on to the FNAF customs, what everyone's probably waiting for, just like every year. All right, let's do it. All right, there is a freaking lot of these guys, so I am going to just speed through them and just try and say the names to the best of my ability. We're gonna start back here with Security Puppet. All right, now Zombie Freddy. Uh, Chocolate Freddy Custom by Swifty Plush Productions. Purple Guy. Uh, Custom Mr. Hippo. Boom, done. And then Chocolate Bonnie. 
custom by me, and then uh, FNAF Faction, and then Blake from Blake and Adam, Mr. Can Do, uh, Pokey Pasta, Glitch Trap. He's he's here. Here he is, guys. I know you all missed him. Uh, here we go, Rockstar Freddy. Big fat black rat. Jump scare fun time foxy. Trey Craig. Um, help or lefty. I always get them mixed up. Uh, Shamrock Freddy. Custom by me. Uh, and then uh, Phantom Freddy. We all miss him. I know. All right. Then Travis Plush Productions. Um, here we go. Uh, peanut butter and Jacob. Happy Frog, or whatever his name, uh, uh, Frog, Frog Boy, the YouTuber, I forget his name, uh, Frogo TV, that's what his name is, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, uh, the Rock, or uh, Rockstar Cupcake, and then, um, by Swifty, uh, Easter Bonnie, and then Super Fredbear Productions, Nightmare Fredbear, Super Plush Dude, um, Rockstar Foxy, uh, Chocolate Chica, Withered Foxy, Pig Patch, uh, started on a custom of Withered Glamrock, or Chica, yeah, we'll, we'll, fi we'll finish that one day. Uh, Travis Plush Productions, Happy Frog, Maso777, that is, I don't know what's going on with his face, he just ate like a bag of Cheetos or something. And then uh, we have Orville the Elephant. All right, and then we have uh, this uh, high score Chica, Creation. Actually, I'll put Creation on Mal's lap. There we go, that, that's a fun picture. Take a screenshot, this goes hard. Scrap Trap, uh, and then we have uh, Liberty Chica, garbage, more like more like trash. <laughs> uh, Super uh, Mario Freddy, uh, VR Freddy. Um, Rockstar Chica! Uh, uh, Molten Chica, whatever she's called, whatever, uh, and then Mouthless, <laughs> Mouthless Springtrap, and then, uh, Neo, or, no, sorry, Neon, Neo, <laughs> Neon Plush Productions, and then what do we got here, we have, uh, Ned Bear, and then, I'm just pulling from behind me, guys, uh, Radioactive or Toxic Springtrap, whatever you want to call him, uh, and then we have, uh, Super Laser Guy, uh, Jacko Bonnie, the, the beloved Jacko Bonnie, then we have Scrap Trap. I'm gonna start making our way over here. My first ever custom, look at that guys, not even finished, my first ever FNAF custom, no, first ever custom plush in general. Uh, this is my uh, Scrap Baby. And then we have Molten Freddy. Then over here we have just a random Monty head. I don't I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and then we have uh, this uh, fire spring trap, flaming spring trap, whatever it's called. Five Nights at Froakies. And then we have Withered Bonnie when he's still missing his teeth. Uh, and then Monty's body. I'll just go ahead and put that right there. <laughs> and then we have uh, the red Bonnie, not not the official one, but uh, yeah, that that Bonnie. And then uh, Ignited Freddy. Boom, Furnace Chica, or I'm sorry, uh, Baby, I think her name is, uh, Withered Chica. A lot of these guys are messed up because they've been sitting in boxes for like a year <laughs> since last collection. Uh, and then Nightmare. And then we have Junior's Bonnie made by Swifty. Uh, Freddy Frost Bear Custom made by me. Uh, the Firework Freddy. And then Ignited Foxy. And then we have Phantom Chica, and then um, Mr. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what his name is. I, I wasn't playing AR at that time. I just thought he was cool. Uh, and then Junior's Foxy, and then uh, Beakless Chica. She's missing a tooth as of last episode. <laughs> um, uh, Ignited Bonnie. All right, let me get this bucket over here. Okay. Then we have Ignited Chica, and then the flaming endo um, and then we have juniors freddy and nightmare chica and then we have juniors chica all right now rockstar bonnie and then radioactive foxy then uh nightmare bonnie thing ish whatever uh no number one crate no go go, go right here go here Okay, then we have this chicken thing, uh, Furnace Chica. Yeah, that's what it's called. 
um, a ripoff of a ripoff, <laughs> ripoff of a slippy, <laughs> um, Santiago. This is actually uh, Neo's plush. He left it here, so I'm putting it in the collection. Haha, <laughs> screw you, Neo. And then we have a withered uh, Bonnie. Uh, that's a bootleg, by the way, guys. Uh, and then I didn't make that. Uh, and then we have a scrap baby. And then fun time Chica, and she's still beakless. I don't know where her beak went. Um, withered uh, Rockstar Freddy. And then last, but certainly not least, everyone loves them, Withered Freddy. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, that is everything so far. Uh, customs, officials, whatever, all that stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's looking absolutely crazy so far now, guys. Now we're just gonna go along the front here and put the duplicates. All right, duplicate chocolate Bonnie. We got two of those guys. And then we got a Funtime Foxy duplicate, a Cupcake duplicate, a uh, Freddy Frostbear. I have a ton of these extra duplicate Freddy Frostbears. I don't know where they're all at. Uh, Twisted Foxy, um, Shadow Freddy, another Shadow Freddy. Put them all together, another Shadow Freddy, and uh, yet another Shadow Freddy. And then, uh, oh yeah, one more Shadow Freddy. And then an extra Phantom Foxy, um, a Candy Cadet thing, yeah. <laughs> um, Security Breach Freddy, Glamrock Freddy, yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, Pink Freddy, and then we have a, another Freddy, just regular Freddy, uh, Purple Foxy. Urgh. Boom, boom. And then we have Orville, uh, Roxanne, Baby, and then another Funtime Foxy. I don't know why I have so many of those. Um, and then uh, a, another Toy Bonnie. I've had like a million extra Toy Bonnies. Um, boom. And then Exotic Butters, Toy Chica, Ballora. We're gonna put Vanny right here, uh, a Lulbit. And then, oh, another Shadow Freddy. <laughs> Uh, this is the new Toy Freddy uh, that just got re-released uh, last year. And then, last but not least, Cupcake. Or, <laughs> Puppet. Marionette. Sorry. All right. All right. This is every single Five Nights at Freddy's plush that I own. And they are, wow, this is phenomenal. These are all the Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. And they look absolutely great. Wow. Boom. That's, that's them. Take a screenshot if you'd like. <laughs> Now we're gonna be moving on to everything else, so stay tuned if you'd like to see all of my other plushies. They're, they're pretty crazy, so we got a crap ton left, so yeah. Now I'm an idiot and I decided to put all these guys on the floor without doing anything on the couch, so I have to stand back here. And, and line them up, so yeah, enjoy this. All right, next up we have Monster Hunter. Okay, Monster Hunter, awesome, cool. Again, if you guys have never played Monster Hunter, highly recommend picking a Monster Hunter game up. It is a great, great, great franchise if I were to recommend any of them. Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Rise, or if you happen to have a Wii or a Wii U, Monster Hunter 3 uh, Ultimate. It's a little bit of a harder challenge, but the active games that still have online communities and stuff like that, Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Rise, pick it up. It's a great game. Get into it. It's awesome. I've played it for like my whole life, and yeah, it's great. So up first, we have Zora Magdaros. Yes, this is Zora Magdaros, and we're going to put him right here. Okay, then we have Devil Joe. This is him. He's pretty cool. And then we have uh, Legiana. Uh, this is Legiana. There we go. Okay, then uh, Diablos. Cool, Diablos. Yeah. All right, boom. Legiana, go there. Okay, cool. And then we have Teostra. Cool. Boom, Teostra. And then Rajang. This is Rajang. He's, he's a m Super Saiyan monkey. <laughs> cool. And then we have Shigaru Magala. Awesome. Shigaru Magala, go right there. And then we have Manablos or mana blows, whatever you want to say, potato, potato. Uh, and then we have Pookie Pookie. Boom, okay, and then Malfestio. Boom, done, Malfestio's right there. Toby Kadachi. Oop, Malfestio fell. Boom, Toby Kadachi right there. And then Baroth. Boom, Baroth goes right there. And then Savage Devil Joe. All right. And then we have Kushala Diora, the stupid looking one. There's a better one. Uh, <laughs> and then we have Narga Kuga. And then we have T 
Tigrex. It, it, it's not T-Rex, guys. It, it's it's Tigrex. Get it right. All right. And then Zenogre. Cool. Awesome. Then Anjanath. Cool. Then uh, Gameth. This is super cute. I love this. Uh, Gameth. And then uh, uh, Paolu. Or, I don't. I don't know, dude. I don't. I didn't play a lot of World. Uh, okay. And then uh, a random human character from Monster Hunter. <laughs> and then uh, Yan Kutsku. And then uh, Bracky Dios. Okay. Odo Garen. Boom. Oh gosh, this is a workout, guys. I know this is from Monster Hunter Dose or something. I, I didn't. I didn't get the chance to play this one. I know it's like the other version of a Cantor, but uh, man, I, I really want to. Go back and play those games one day. Okay, and then we have uh, Zenogre, old Zenogre. If you guys watch my Monster Hunter Plush series, and then, then you know him, it's Zane. Uh, and then we have Camellios. Okay, I'm gonna put Camellios right here. All right, I'm gonna start filling in some of these gaps. So we got Legombi, cool. Put little Legombi right there. And then we have another Nargakuga. Boom, right there. And then we have a Palico, just a random little Palico plush from Japan. Um, boom, we'll put him right there. And then we have uh, Yan Garuga. Right there, Raging Bracadios. Okay, then we have Chaotic Gormagala. Boom. And then we have a Cantor. Boom. And then we have a random, another random Chibi plush. I don't know what that's from. Maybe Monster Hunter Stories. I don't know. Another Nargakuga. Boom. Then Kirin. We're gonna put Kirin right over here. Okay. And then uh, Astalos. Astalos right there. And then bury off. Boom. All right. And then we have Valstrex. Boom. Uh, another random little palico. I'm gonna put him right there. Okay. And then, uh, all right. Monster Hunter World Rathalos. I don't know what the difference is. This one's just a just a little bit different. Um, Monster Hunter World Rathian. Oh no, this is just regular Rathian. My bad. Right there. And then we have this Silverwind Nargakuga. I'm really testing my Monster Hunter knowledge, guys. I, I got all these names down. All right, Tigrex. Another Tigrex, the less cool one. All right, um, and then, uh, I forget this one. This one's from Generations, I think, or, no, no, sorry, this is from 4. This is Monster Hunter 4, right? I, I didn't play, I didn't play, I didn't play 4. I didn't have a 3DS. All right, uh, and then we have a Palico Puppet. This one's actually pretty funny. And then Legiacris. It's not, it's not Legiacruz, it's, it's Legiacris, okay? And then Gore Magala. Boom, right there. And then I think this is Gravios, pretty sure. Never never got to fight Gravios. Um, or maybe it's not, I don't know. Okay, and then we have uh, Seregios, right there. And then Arzuros. We got a lot of Oses. And then we got uh, the uh, Zenogre Deviant. Uh, I think it's called like Golden, some, I don't know, some, something Zenogre. Then the Monster Hunter World Rathian right there and then we have Mizutsune boom put that right there okay and then we have Hellblade Glavinus put that right here boom and then we have Nergigante Nergigante put him right there boom okay then we have our uh, I forget what this guy's called let me check the tag Yep, it's uh, Grey Jagras. Yep, yep, I knew that. Grey Jagras. Boom. Then we have a Matsu. Okay, we got a Matsu. Please, please put a Matsu in Rise, Capcom. Okay. And then we have Rathalos. This old crappy one. And then another Rathalos. And then we're, we're just gonna put him right there. And then uh, we have Glavinus, just regular Glavinus. Um, we're gonna be running out of space here, guys. Put him right here, right in the front, in front of. Paolumu or whatever it's called. And then uh, the Bloodbath Diablos. Ugh. Okay. And then uh, Molten Tigrex. Right there. And then we have Kezu. Really creepy looking. Put him right there. Squeeze him in there. And then Golden Rathian. I think this one's fake. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a bootleg. But Golden Rathian. And then ugh, Classic Teostra. Old, good old classic Teostra. And then uh, we have Fenny, I think it is. Uh, just a little cheap thing. We're gonna just like slide that over here. And then yeah, this other one, we're gonna put right there. 
And then, Boogie, the best character in all of Monster Hunter. Okay, that is all of the Monster Hunter ones. Well, mo not everyone that's not Monster Hunter Rise. Now we are going to be moving on to the Monster Hunter Rise plushies. All right, now time for Monster Hunter Rise. So we have our Palamute. We're just gonna start back here, I believe. Yeah, this seems like a good place to start. We're gonna put Palamute back there. And then we have our Palico right there. I got these from Big Bad Toy Store, so super cool, thanks to them. And then we have Azuchi, I think it's called Great Azuchi. Yeah, I haven't fought this guy in a while. It's been it's been a while. Azuchi, and then um, oh crap. Uh, whoa, okay, I forgot this one's name. Uh, I, I I know this. I uh, Rakna Kadaki. Yep, Rakna Kadaki. Put him right there. And then we have uh, actual character. Um, I guys, I'm not gonna lie. I, okay, they're falling. I'm I don't remember her name. Um, I know she. Uh, it's like Minoto or something. Uh, I don't know, something like that. And then. Uh, Another villager, um, another villager. I don't care about the names, guys. I play the games for the monsters, <laughs> not the characters. Um, and then, oh crap, okay, I don't know this one's name. I do know its name, but I, I, I don't, okay? I, I forgot it, okay? It's not a very memorable monster, but that's from Rise, okay? And then we have Bashatan. Boom. Like that, boom, okay, stay up, come on guys, let's go, stay up, okay. And then we have our Firebird, forgot what its name is, um, I'm gonna put you over here. And then we have uh, Brandon, or uh, Kahoot, <laughs> Kohoot, whatever they're called, not Kahoot. Um, and then we have All Mother Narwa, here, let me show you guys that, All Mother Narwa. And I'm gonna put that right here since these keep deciding to fall down. Okay, then we have Crimson Glow Valstrex. Put that right there, and then we have, it's, I think it's Himoto and Mimoto, or Nimoto, I don't know, something like that. And then Almudron, put Almudron right there, and then our other Palico. Boom, boom, okay, stay right there. And we should have a Monster in a Rise series coming soon. Um, and then, uh, oh crap, okay, I do know his name, I know that for a fact, but I, I, I can't think of it. I know it starts with like a G. Goss Harag. Yes, Goss Harag. I'm really getting tested with this Rise stuff, guys. Okay, then Tetranodon. Really cool monster. Love Tetranodon. Um, and then Magnamalo. Boom, Magnamalo. Okay, then we have um, Ibushi. Just regular Ibushi. I mean, there's no deviance, but yeah, Ibushi. And then uh, uh, Palamut. Put Palamut right there. And then, regular Narwa, just, this is all mother, right there, it's all mother Narwa, and then this is just regular Narwa, so we're gonna put her right here. And then, Gormagollum, uh, this is from Sunbreak, Gormagollum, boom, and then our Sunbreak Palico with our Malzino armor, boom, then Malzino Palico with Malzino armor, boom, then we have Gormagala, again. I'll put him right here. Boom. Then we have, um, well, you guys may know him as something different, but uh, this is uh, the, the, the meddler guy, the melding guy in Monster Hunter, but you guys know him as the uh, the trials, the, <laughs> the mind space guy. Um, and then, I think it's like Toshi or something. I don't know his name. Boom, he's right there. And then we have Malzino. Malzino, let me show you guys. This is Malzino, super cool. That's our flagship for Sunbreak. And then, last but certainly not least, Luna Garen. Boom, Luna Garen. Done! All right, that is all of the Monster Hunter Rise plushies. All right, every single Monster Hunter plush is done. All the FNAF plushies are done. Now, time for Piggy plushies. <laughs> All right, now for the Piggy plushies. We have Piggy, boom. It's gonna be kind of hard to stand them up. And then we have Zombie Pig, and then we have uh, the Bunny, and then, uh, or I don't know, uh, and then Zizzy or something, uh, Doggy, and then uh, this Piggy, and then little Zombie Piggy, and then Tiggy, and then uh, this Ghost Pig, and then uh, this Wolf Guy, and then Clowny. Okay, cool. Piggy plushie's done. 
Now we're going to move on to the Cuphead plushies. Well, Cuphead and his pal bug man, they like to roll the dice. All right, now for Cuphead. We got Cuphead, um, and then this uh, pirate guy. I, I've, I've forgotten all the names by now, guys. <laughs> this blue guy, uh, the onion, um, the Cagney, uh, the uh, bee girl, mug man. Bruh, okay, this is really uncomfortable position. <laughs> the devil, come on, stand up, stay up. Okay, Mr. Dice, uh, the carrot guy, uh, the chalice, boom, uh, the mermaid, the uh, uh, black and white uh, cuphead or whatever, or mugman or whatever, I don't know, cuphead, and then uh, the puppet guy, and then, and then uh, the kettle. All right, Poppy Playtime. We got Mommy Long Legs, Bootleg Huggy Wuggy, Regular Official Huggy Wuggy, um, Eyeless Huggy Wuggy, <laughs> um, Kissy Missy, then we have Bunzo, and then Poppy, then we have PJ Pug Pillar, Bootleg Kissy Missy, and Catbug, or Cat B. Yeah, Cat B. Boom, okay, done. All right, now for just a bunch of random horror guys. We have Hello Neighbor, uh, this SCP thing, Cartoon Cat, um, oh, Cartoon Cat, go there. Okay, uh, Mommy, and then, or that's Evil Mommy, regular Mommy, uh, Squid Game, and then uh, we got uh, Siren Head, put him right here, and then Tattletail right there. Really cool plush, by the way, guys. Uh, another Squid Game guard, and then another Squid Game guard. And that is just like random little horror, guys. Oh, and Demogorgon. He'll sit on Siren Head's lap. All right, I'm like pretty much out of room, and we still have like these Nintendo guys, so I'm kind of just gonna sort through these with you guys. And there's just like a bunch of random crap on the floor here, like that Final Fantasy cactus and uh, Angry Birds, and just like mismatch like Mickey Mouse plushies and stuff, but that that's pretty much it. Okay, Callie. Boom, and then uh, the Coblins, Link, um, the Squid Game guys, boom, done, okay, cool, or not Squid Game, <laughs> uh, Splatoon, um, Splatoon, uh, Yoshi's, uh, Mudkip, Trico, uh, Froki, uh, Mario, Shu, and uh, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna put them there because we don't have any, any possible room. All right, now, with all of that being said, these are the 2023 plush collection. These are every plush that I've been able to collect over the past six years. And wow, there is a lot of them. I don't even know how at some point I've been able to get all of these in videos. It's been absolutely crazy. But yeah, these are all of my plushies and my entire collection. Um, it's a lot, it's a lot. And now you guys understand, why I only do this once a year. It is a lot to unload. It is really hard to get all of these guys together and organize them for a video like this. And this is why it took me the entire month of January to get this together because this, this was a severely <laughs> hard project to do. But yes, these are all of my plushies. And with that guys, I just wanna thank you so much for watching. And we have one little surprise left. Now, at the beginning of the video, I promised you guys I'd show you my first ever stuffed animal slash plushie that I ever got when I was a kid. Uh, I got this when I was three at Legoland. Um, well, it's the, the only one that I can, <laughs> the first one that I can remember from my consciousness. So this is from uh, Legoland, and uh, his name is Lobster. He's a green <laughs> dragon from Legoland. He's my first ever stuffed animal, and I love him. His name is Lobster. I don't know why I named him Lobster, because he's a dragon, but yeah, this is him. Meet Lobster, guys. Hello, uh, 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 hello. Yeah, this is Lobster, he's cool, he's, he's pretty dandy, and yeah, that's him. All right guys, hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please, 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 this is really hard to do, I have a headache, I, I, I'm very exhausted, I'm gonna go take a nap. Uh, please smash the like button. If you want more content like this and like all these plushies and all that fun stuff, please consider subscribing. It really, really, really helps me out a lot. And guys, tell me down below which one of these plushies is your favorite plush. Comment down below. I want to see your guys' comment, okay? Favorite plush. 
out of every single plush here, all of this, all of these cool plushies, okay, which one is your personal favorite? There is a lot of picks. There's a lot of plushies here. So tell me your personal favorites in the comment section down below. I reply to comments all the time. So just tell me your favorite and I'll probably reply to you. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch you next time. Sly Pie has to clean all this up. Sly Pie out. <laughs> I